Okay, my friends, should be a Chodesh Tov to everyone. Good month. And this month of Chodesh Tammuz is the month that Hashem gave us the first Luchot. Moshe Rabbeinu went up to Shemaim in, in Shavuot. 40 days, 40 nights. You can't have 40 days and 40 nights. In Shavuot is Yudzayin Tammuz, 17th of Tammuz. That means that on the 17th of Tammuz, Moshe Rabbeinu came down from Shemaim with the first Luchot. Now, he found, now he found that Amisal did the Egel and he breaks the Luchot and he goes up again and brings the second Luchot. The second Luchot are nothing like the first Luchot, even though it's the same Torah. The second Luchot are, are Torah that already has in it, can have different opinions, different interpretations, machloket, a lot of... The first Luchot was a revelation of the Torah from such a high place that there was impact, no, no machloket, nothing. So that means that on, on this month, potentially, is the highest Yom Tov out of all of the Yamim Tovim. Yudzayin Betamuz, which is a day of fast, the Ariya Kadosh explains that really was the really highest, the highest holiday. Aron Kohen, when, when the Erev Rav tell him we want to do the, eg, the Egil, the golden calf, so he tells them, Chag la Adonai Machar. Tomorrow there'll be a Chag la Hashem. And in the Pshat, that he was trying to delay them. He said, come tomorrow, because by tomorrow Moshe would come back. But the Ariya Kadosh explains that what he was saying, Machar is not going on the next day. It's going on the Geula, in the future. Chag la Hashem Machar, that Yudzayin Betamuz, in the Geula will actually turn out to be a very, very big Chag, because that's the day that the first Luchot were given to the world. So even though we're right now learning the Torah of the second Luchot, but that happened. And in the Geula, we're going to go up from the level of the second Luchot into the level of the first Luchot. So in this month, HaKadosh Baruch is shining into the world a very high level of Torah, of, of the first Luchot. And the first Luchot, the main inan of the first Luchot is the unity of the first Luchot. It has to do with our Avat Yisrael. We're focusing a lot on us loving each other. Because we see that the, the Torah, the highest Torah when it's revealed, <coughs> Its sensitivity is to the vessels, how much the vessels love each other. Rabbi Akiva, that all his Tamidim died between Pesach and Lagba Omer. Why? They were great Tamidah Chachamim. Shalom Agu Kavod Zebazeh. They didn't respect each other. There wasn't love between them. So when there's high Torah revealed, there needs to be a very strong love between the students and the vessels that are receiving it. Dariya Kadosh, who revealed the highest level of Torah, told his students, had students and told the students that no matter what, make sure never to argue, never to fight, never to anything. And one time there was some kind of argument with the wives and then the husbands got involved and the Arizal said that because of that, because the unity broke, the vessel broke and he said he's going to have to leave the world. Amazing. So in this month and the month of, of Tammuz, the month that were, Tammuz and Av are both months that we're dealing with the destruction. <coughs> So when we deal with destruction, we're not dealing with the negative side of destruction, we're dealing with fixing the destruction, with what's the source, how, what can we do to fix it? And in these, in these months, the, 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 the strengthen in Avat Israel and a feeling of unity between us, no matter what we see another Jew as is different, to, to aim to feel that we're one, because we are one. And not, not to let our physical experience fool us that we're not one. That means that this has to do with perception. This, this month has to do with eyes, with vision. And that means that not to see the right vision is not to see yourself. It's to see the entire nation, to see who you really are. This month should give us the right vision, the right love to each other, the right attitude to have to receive this influence that he's giving every year, every year he's and this time he's giving this Ashba'av Torah of the first Luchot. And he hears that we should, HaKadosh Baruch should give us deep sophisticated ways to love each other in holy ways, to be absent, our nation should be in love with each other. And the Geulah should be inspired through Avat Yisrael. To such a love that there should be between us, Avat Chinam. Avat Chinam means Baseless love, baseless love. Instead of sinat chinam, sinat chinam means that one person hates the other person 
way before they meet them. They just hate them. Instead, I'm going to love you way before I meet you. That means that instead, I'm going to sit in my room and I'm going to expand my heart to really prepare Avat Yisrael in my heart to receive every single Jew with every single style and every single thing to really understand that to see past is external. I'm in my room right now alone. I'm preparing myself to see past all the external that I'm going to meet out on the street. It's equal of Avat the Naseh. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Oh, very good. So this is the Naseh and Ishma of love. Very nice, Linda. I'm going to love you and then I'll realize why I love you. <laughs> First, I'm loving you because that's the truth because you're a Yehudi. First, I'm going to focus on the good. I'm going to love you way before I meet you. Way, years before I meet you. I'm going to focus on love, Am Yisrael, and love. And then when I meet you, I'm going to realize, hey, you're, you're that. You're, yeah. you're that thing that I love. <laughs> you don't look like what I thought because right now you're, you're in your own experience. I'm going to ignore your external experience. I'm just going to see your essence, and that's what I love. <laughs> but this takes avodah. This takes work. This takes work that a person should prepare himself. This is, well, maybe we'll finish with this. By the Hasidim, by the Hasidim, they focused a lot on the, on the pnimiyut of the mitzvot, the, the, the neshama of the mitzvot, the inside of the mitzvot. And one of the things that that helps a person appreciate a mitzvah and connect to the mitzvah is, is preparation, is hachana. The person sits before and says, I'm about to do this action, I'm about to do this speech, this is this thing. What am I doing? I'm preparing myself. The Creator said, L'shem yichud, the Creator said to do this. I'm listening to Him, I'm obeying Him, I understand.